welcome back guys. I'm your host Keyblade Kyrie 2010. We are continuing on with Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening Special Edition. Just so you know, we are working on Virgil's side of the story. If you missed out on Dante's side of the story, go back all the way to the beginning of the playlist of Devil May Cry 3 and you should uh, see the intro and all that wonderful jazz of going through Dante's side of his side of the story. We're busting through Virgil's side of the story like there's no tomorrow. So far we've only seen one new cutscene, but I'm pretty sure there is more than just what we're seeing. Um, obviously they would probably put more detail into that or unless you're just wanting to fight as Virgil. Um, so viewer discretion is advised. This gameplay is rated M for mature. If you're under the age of 18, you probably should not be watching this. There is a little bit of gore, there is a little bit of violence in it, and there is a little bit of language like demon, devil, hell, uh, damn. Uh, those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head right now, and those are the ones I know that are being used as well. Um, if uh, you are concerned about those uh, things, then definitely go check out my Rated E for Everyone games or Rated T for Teen games. Those ones are a little bit more family friendly. But if you're cool with that, we'll be continuing on with Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening Special Edition, Virgil's side of the story. You have been warned. <coughs> Excuse me. I like inhaled air. <laughs> And I got some spit in the process of inhaling. Um, so yeah, I've been kicking butt left, right, and center with Virgil. Which I am absolutely... Really? I don't have enough? Oh yeah, I don't have enough. Duh. Guess I need a little bit more practice on that. Let me see that one, please. Yes, please. Uh, Alright, cool. Alright. Uh, I don't really upgrade his guns too much. Considering they're not really guns, they're, they're uh, summon swords and splice swords. I can't even pronounce that because my brain won't let me. Alright, here we go. Mission 5. Diving in. Boom! Alright, so these guys are going to be taken down just like the same way as Dante does. Uh, the only problem is, is that these guys have to be hit by the other stuff first, and then we can take them on, because they gotta be hit by all that. Um, oh, there's more of you. Okay, you guys are down there. Uh, you know, I don't have time for you guys' bull hunting, you know that, right? Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, nice. That was an actual double kill, was that? Oh, get out of here. Don't want you multiplying on me. Alright, so we get to take on our first uh, Jesta. Like I said, um, if you are, uh, like, I'm going to be giving away a lot of the things that happen in Virgil's side of the story. Or, er, yeah, because of the fact that we've already experienced it in uh, Dante's side of the story. So, I might give away a little bit here and there. So, if you don't want to go, or want to know all this, definitely check out Virgil, or Dante's side of the story first. Because we already know some of this stuff, and I'm already going to kick his butt before he even gets to hit me with one shot. I mean, he did hit me with one shot just a second ago, but whatever. Oops. <laughs> That's wonderful. And I just mimicked that without, like making too much noise, I actually mimicked him. <laughs> well, you're on it. I was gonna say, go. Shatter. Shatter me. If I break the glass, then I'll have to fly. No one to catch me if I take a dive. I'm stuck in heaven, but they stay the same. They're only spinning on their rain. Sorry. Love that song. 
Um, I wanted to actually start playing music while I actually do gameplay, which is fairly simple, obviously, because of the fact uh, that you guys won't be able to hear it, but I will. <laughs> and I can, like, I don't know, do some karaoke while I'm doing gameplay, but then there might be sometimes I want to talk about something, and that kind of interrupts that, I guess? I don't know. That's just me, though. And look at that. Like, we are busting through this, like, super fast. Which is no surprise, because like I said, we're, um, skipping through all of Dante's cutscenes. Uh, so yeah. I mean, you can skip all of this if you don't want to see this, or only wanted to see the special cutscenes anyways, you know. It's not no loss to you, really, but uh, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to play as Dante. Even though I didn't do Devil May Cry... Uh, mm, is it this door? It's this door. Yes, it's this door. Um, even though I didn't do Devil May Cry 4 side of the story with the other characters, um, I might go back over Devil May Cry 4 and get their side of the story because I haven't like, entirely completed that game. But then again, all, all you're getting is the same areas just like I'm doing with this game right here, right now. And it's pretty much cold cut and dry uh, unless you're looking at the new cutscenes that are part of it. Uh, but like I said, for that game, it's only, or for Devil May Cry 4, it's only the first intro to the game, and then it's, um, the end of the game. Uh, I think there is, like, three new cutscenes in Devil May Cry 4 for each of the other characters that you can play as. So, uh, I have played as Lady and Trish, and they're pretty kick-butt. Uh, so, who knows? I might go back over and decide that I want to play their side of their stuff and see, you know, how the game plays. Who knows? And add that to Devil May Cry 4. I'm, like, severely thinking about it. But I won't do that, uh, this time around because I would like to get into Horizon Zero Dawn because I am technically borrowing the game from a friend of mine and I would hate for him not to be able to have his game back uh, soon. So that's why I'm sitting here smiling at the fact that we will be busting through Virgil's missions like there's no tomorrow and it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, the only problem I'm having that I'm gonna have is with the shadow module thing or the, uh, the other thing but I'm pretty sure we won't have to do that fight because of the fact that we don't have, we don't have to actually do that uh, fight because we don't get that ability. And I'm pretty sure there's another one that we don't have to do either. But that could be just me for all I know, so. Um, I open that, oh no, 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 I know where I'm going. I, I gotta go back down, so. Alright, so we got a skill level up for Virgil. Um, we only got one of those for Dante, shockingly, because of the fact that I ended up switching out halfway through. Uh, so I might end up maxing out Virgil. With Dante, I, I got uh, only one because of the fact that I kept switching between what I wanted to actually use. Uh, we go back up to the yellow door, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Screw you too. Uh, yellow door, yellow door, yellow, yellow, yellow door, yellow door, yellow door. Do I have to go down one more? I think I have to go down one more. I don't remember. Yellow door, yellow. Nope, I'm going up in the right direction. Okay, cool. Just had to make sure. Yellow door. I'll be coming around the mountain when I come. I'll be coming around the mountain when I come. 
when I come. I'll be coming around the mountain. I'll be coming around the mountain. I want this orb before I go. All right, here we go. So, ha ha. Okay. So is it Beowulf? It is Beowulf. We might get our first upgrade here to our health. Pretty sure we'll get it. Maybe! I might not have enough upgrades for this one. There we go. And that's enough uh, fragments. We'll get a whole one right there. There it is! Ta-da! Fantastic. Alright, so we got our next upgrade, our first upgrade to our health, which is fantastic. We're putting that in, and we'll be fighting these guys. I mean, I could see Virgil going through the same trials as well, because of the fact that, um, you know, it makes more sense to actually have him go through the trials to get all the way up to where he belongs. I don't know. I just, or maybe they, the developers just decided that they just want only, uh, they want Virgil as a playable character too. Who knows? I can't really tell you. All I know is that the intro to his cutscene and there is... I don't want to fall off! Don't make me fall off, please don't make me fall off. Don't fall off. Don't make me fall off. Don't make me fall off. Go that way. Get out of here. Don't make me fall off. I think we shouldn't have too much of a problem now. No. Ah! Don't make me fall off. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> Screw you. Get out of my face. Crush him. Aw, oh, dang. Which means I have to go all the way back up again and retry this again. Oh! No! There's flaws in, in this stinking game, and that's one of them is like if you fall down and you have to restart. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, right round. Get out of here. I'll do. Ugh! Oh! games that, uh, or, uh, fights that whew, won't allow me to actually do, like, big strokes here. Oh! <laughs> Bye, dude! Just fall off the, the map there. Don't worry about it, y'all! Get out of here! Oh, you're gonna fall off, too? See ya! I like when those two have just recently decided that they were gonna fall off. Alright, perfect. Fantastic. There should be red orbs up here. And there is. That's freaking fantastic. Like, the only problem is, is I will not be able to get the blue piece on uh, Virgil's side of the story because of that, without air hike, I, I can't do that. So, sadly, we'll be missing one of... We'll be missing one of the blue um, orbs, and I'm pretty sure I was missing a lot of them anyways in Dante's side of the story, to be honest, because... reasons! Alright, I should be... I should be alright with kicking their butt and not having too much of a headache. Just in case, though, we're gonna um, get another star here. Um, health star. So we're gonna skip uh, the cutscene again, and here we go! Get your butt out of my face! You know what? Virgil's really cool. I eventually want to do a female version of Virgil uh, one time as well, which I think would be fantastic, actually. 
Um, I want to do a female uh, version of Dante as well from this game. Uh, both of them will be fantastic cosplays to actually do. Uh, I already have, um, like, I think that's what I'm going to do next year is Virgil, because I think only making his jacket, oop, making his jacket and, um, doing shorts would be perfect for him, especially since I'm doing a female version of Virgil. And if I'm doing female version of Virgil, I'll be able to use one of my female wigs that I already have. Like, I can probably use Riku's wig and have no problem whatsoever with that. So, yeah. I think that would be perfect uh, to do that type of cosplay. I eventually want to do a Nero cosplay as well. So. Thank you guys so much for all your support. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button, leave thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Definitely hit that notification bell so that way you are notified when I go live and when I upload videos as well. Um, feel free to check out my other playlist too. I do more than just video games. Uh, if you're also interested in supporting the channel even more, you can go ahead and uh, donate to the Patreon account. Uh, all proceeds go to new video games, better technology, and uh, cosplay tutorials as well. If, if you do, your name will be mentioned in the beginning, the end, and a personal thank you will go out to you as well. If not, you're already supporting this video enough as it is by watching another playlist, watching this video, hitting that thumbs up, making a wonderful nice comment down in the comment section, and um, hitting that notification bell as well. So. I'm pretty sure that uh, there's no cutscene after this, but we'll take a look. Nope, there is not. Holy cow, we're already on mission six already. Like I said, I pre-record the these. Uh, today is Tuesday. Yesterday it was actually Mon or, uh, Monday, but um, I was recording this Monday and Tuesday. So uh, yeah, I pre-record these for about a week in advance to make sure that you guys get videos. Um, that way, if something comes up, at least I have videos recorded and I can just post them when I'm ready. So, thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing and awesome. Stay cool, stay amazing, and we'll see you guys back here for more gaming, cosplaying, and so much more. Game on gamers, cosplay and cosplayers, and we'll be back with more Devil May Cry 3. Dante's Awakening Special Edition, Virgil's side of the story. So, bye!